So this is combining like terms. Now, like terms have the same variable parts, and that word variable is very important. What it means is that if you have terms that are alike, they must have the same letters in them. So they all have to have x, or they all have to have y, or they all have to have x and y. Now, besides having the same letters, those letters also need to have the same exponents. So you might have x squared in all of them, but it has to have all of them. Each term has to have that x squared if you're going to have like terms. So let's identify some like terms. I have three examples here, and our job is to find out which of those can be combined. So we look at the first two. We have 5x plus 3x. The question is, can we combine those terms? So we ask ourselves, do they have the same letters? They both have x. And do those x's have the same exponents? And hopefully you recall that right now, these two x's both have an exponent of 1. So yes, these can be combined. Now here we have 4x squared minus 1 half x. Are these like terms? The x has a squared. This x does not. Because they do not have the same exponents, they cannot be combined. Our last example, 5, negative 5, a squared b minus 6a squared b. Same letters, we've got a's and b's in both. Now, do those variables have the same exponents? Well, the a's are squared. The b's have a power of 1. That is the same for both. So yes, these two terms can be combined. Now, let's look at an example of combining like terms. So our job here is to combine like terms. We see that we have 8a plus 4a plus 4a. When we look at this, we say, do we have like terms? And we do. We have a's in all of them, and those a's all have a power of 1. So we'll start, we'll go from left to right, we're doing addition. We're going to add 8a plus 4a. Now that's just like saying you have 8 apples and you add 4 apples. So for 8a plus 4a, we get 12a. And what we have left to do is 12a plus 4a. Same type of operation going here. We do 12a plus 4a, we get 16a. Notice that the exponent on the a does not change. Our next example will be this. 5x plus 1 half y minus 8x plus 3 fourths y. And we ask, do we have like terms? We see things that are like, not everything is, but that's okay. We just need to combine whatever we can and leave everything else separate. So what we'll do first is move both terms that have the x next to each other, keeping the sign in front the same. Now what we're going to do is 5x minus 8x, those are like terms. We're going to get negative 3x, because 5 minus 8 is negative 3. Here we get 1 half y plus 3 fourths y. Now the problem comes in because we have to add fractions, and students a lot of the time don't like to do it. But all we need is a common denominator, and that's going to be 4. So I'm going to put 2 fourths y, which is 1 half with a denominator of 4, plus 3 fourths y. Now we just need to add the numerators, just like we're adding fractions, because that's what we're doing. We get 5 fourths y. Now can we combine negative 3x and 5 fourths y? We cannot, because they do not have the same variables in that. So at this point, we are done. Now our next example is going to use the distributive property. So let's remember what that is. The distributive property says if you have something, could be a variable, could be a number, could be anything, outside two terms inside parentheses that are separated by a plus or minus, a times the quantity b plus c is equal to a times b plus a times c. And we're going to need that for this next example. So to combine like terms here, 
We can't do 10 plus 2. That is not order of operations, okay? Order of operations says we have to do multiplication first before we do addition. So we're going to have 10 plus, now we use our distributive property, we're going to do 2 times 4y and 2 times negative 3. So that we get 8y minus 6. Now at this point we have all our terms laid out, no more parentheses, so we can combine anything that's alike. What we notice is there's only two like terms. Do you know what they are? How about do you know what is not a like term? That's the 8y. There's nothing else with a y in it. So all we can do is combine the 10, subtract 6 to get 4, and our 8y stays the same. And this is our answer. Now our next example has a few things going on. So let's take a look. We have minus 3, or negative 3, minus a half times 7n minus 8, and that's in parentheses, minus n. So the first thing we need to do is our distributive property. So we're going to get negative 3, we do minus a half times 7n, that's negative 7 halves n. We do negative a half times negative 8, that gives us a positive 4, and this negative n here is outside the parentheses, so it doesn't get that 1 half. Now we see that we have four terms that we need to combine together. We can put the negative 3 with the 4, that's going to give us 1. But when we combine the negative 7 halves n and the minus n, again we need to do some fraction work. So we'll do negative 7 halves n. The coefficient in front of this n is just 1. So to give it a denominator of 2, I just write 2 over 2, which is just 1. Now, we can combine these two fractions and these two like terms to get 1 minus 7 plus 2, which is 9, halves n. We have a constant, we have a variable term, they can't be combined, so we are done. This next example has a couple things going on. We've got to do a little bit of multiplication before we can combine anything. We're going to have 6 times negative 3x. That's going to give us a negative 18x. That 9 is by itself, so it'll stay. The 3 is being multiplied by two terms here using that distributive property. So we'll have negative 6x plus 18. Now we can combine anything that's alike. We're going to have a negative 18x with a negative 6x, which is minus 24x. And then we'll have the minus 9 with the plus 18 to give us a plus 9. Note again that the x's, when I combine those two terms, exponent on the x does not change. We can't combine a term with an x and a term without an x, so this is our answer. So just to wrap this up, let's remember that only like terms can be added and subtracted. So make sure you have like terms before you do any adding or subtracting. Another key thing to remember is that when you do add and subtract like terms, Whatever exponent is on those, the variables in those terms, they do not change when they're being added or subtracted. So if we do 4x plus 6x, you always want to remember that is 10x, not 10x squared. Do not do it. So this has been a review of combining like terms, and good luck to you.